Welcome back Island Hoppers. Today we're going to take a look at Athens, Greece. A city with around 700,000 people in the inner city and almost 4 million in the metropolitan region. We're going to go to the port, we're going to show you the Acropolis, we're going to show you the Old Town Market. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Athens, Greece. Let's do it. So we started out in Plaka, that's where our hotel was. The hotel was around $110 to $120 per night per room. So if you guys wanted to stay in Plaka, it seemed like a reasonable place to get good accommodation. What we ended up doing was heading over to the Hop On Hop Off bus, a great way to see Athens. We ended up getting these tickets here and we started our trip from Athens. All right, so now we're on the hop on hop off bus. We're gonna go explore the red line, which includes the Acropolis and some other ancient sites. The hop on hop off bus does work for the city center ancient sites, but if you wanted to get longer range, I do recommend the commuter train. It seems like that's a really good value. Yeah, so here we are at the Temple of Olympia and Zeus. Right here is right next to the Acropolis. If you look in the background, you can see it. Now when you are planning your trip to Athens, I would say prepare for 24 to 48 hours before you consider going to the other destinations in Greece, like the Greek islands or Sparta or Corinth, because I think there's enough to see within a 24 to 48 hour time period. So let's head over to the Acropolis and buy some tickets. Yeah, so here we are at the Acropolis. I would highly recommend getting an e-ticket before you even come here because the lines can be long at times. Also, the total appears to be around about 25 euros per ticket online. I don't know what it is if you buy here at the actual booth. So let's go check out the Acropolis. theaters old and new here's a look at one of the newer theaters up here by the Acropolis now when you head up the Acropolis the stones are very polished from all the foot traffic making it actually very slick so try to make sure you bring shoes with traction that's just a pro tip also, before you go up there, make sure you bring some water, whether it be a refill cup or a refill water bottle, it doesn't matter. If you look right behind me, you can see the Parthenon. So the Acropolis of Athens is actually an ancient citadel located on top of rocks. And Athens, they have a law, a city ordinance that says that no buildings can actually be taller than the Acropolis. But inside the Acropolis, they have the Parthenon. They also have the Temple of Athena and Nike, and they have other lookout vantage points on this citadel. You look right behind me, you can see the mosaic floor of the house. Mythos Lager. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of walk around the town just towards the ocean from the Acropolis. This area right here has got some restaurants, nice little walking area. You can hear those cicadas, they're just going off those crickets.
All right, so now we're on the northwest side of the Acropolis. We're at Roman Agora Placa. Let's go down here. Now, out of all the places I went to go walk around and hang out for the day, I would say that Placa probably stood out to me as my favorite place to hang out. Now, there's several areas across Athens that you may pick, but I personally uh, recommend at least checking out Placa for sure. Right now, we're just walking down the mountain to get to Placa, but in between the Acropolis and Placa, you'll see more uh, ancient sites from Athens. And this here is the Roman Agora, which I find interesting because inside of ancient Greece, you'll also find Roman ruins, just like when you go to Rome, you'll also find ancient Greek ruins. And you will notice as we get closer into Plaka, deeper into Plaka, I should say, we start to see the market. Here you can find anything from art to food, but also clothes, souvenirs, all those kind of trinkets that you would get when you go to a historical place. Alright, so we've made it to the old market here and we're in Plaka and explore this side of the Acropolis. This is like the old town market. So my friend here behind the camera needs one of those charging ports for the European uh, plugs. Let's see if they got them here. That's a good price. All right, so now we're gonna go to the port, talk to them about getting a ferry ride to Milos tomorrow. So we're either gonna get there by bus 
train or taxi, first option, train. Let's go see. We got uh, two 24 hour passes for the train. It costs 490 euros each. at the ferry port this is where you can go to all the islands Paros, Milos, Mykonos right here at Piraeus you can see the Blue Star Ferry that's who uh, takes you around the uh, GNC that I'm at now is called Coloco Troni. If you're looking for some nightlife, you'll want to come here. But we'll cruise here about 6 p.m. Uh, let's check it out. Just like Rome, when you walk around Athens, you'll realize that this whole city you're walking on is built on an older city. There's ruins everywhere, like this one right here. So ever since I lost my luggage in Norway, I've had to basically, you know, make up for it by building my own luggage. Well, right now, I've got to get some boxers. I've got two pairs of clean ones left, so let's see if they got some. I also got a pair of shorts in there. Hey, that was a pretty good deal. All that for less than 20 euros. Two pairs of boxers and a nice pair of shorts.
Yeah, so we just came here to the Solvaki place to get two Coke Zeros and two Gyros or Euros for eight Euros. So two different things, Euro the food and Euro the currency. All right, guys, after a great 24 hours here in Athens, very satisfied. Now we are going to go to the islands. Milos is next. We'll see you from there.